तो पहुंच गए हम वियतनाम में एंड आई एम राइट नाउ इन हनोई This is one of the popular places where people suggest that you should stay. Like there are so many hotels nearby that people stay at, and that is because it is so picturesque. It is one of the best places to stay in. If you stay in old quarter, there's always like traffic and noise, but this lake area is just perfect. Oh. So I'll be exploring Vietnam, not just Hanoi but also Ho Chi Minh City, and I'll keep you updated about what I see. I went to Old Quarter today, and something interesting that I saw was this. I saw some ladies who were essentially shopkeepers passing time through this, and it looked very entertaining. People literally drive like crazy here. I mean, if you walk around, you are unable to cross the road because people's driving skills here are insane. There is no wrong side, no right side. Nobody follows any traffic rules, and you do whatever you can to get out of the way if the, you see like traffic coming like this. Crossing the road is a Herculean task, but I've mastered it in one day. There's a popular app called Grab, which works like China has AliPay and Didi. So you can order food from Grab, you can order taxis from Grab, but you can also order bikes, like. You can get somebody to drive the bike and show you around. It's the perfect option for someone like me, especially if you don't know how to ride a bike yourself. And since most of the places you want to see in Hanoi are pretty close by, it is actually quite convenient. Vietnam people, I don't think you will be able to see what you are doing. Yani ki log dhoonde karne ka andaaz, jis tarike se jam lagta hai, jis tarike se log bus ke liye drag karte hain. जैसे सड़क के किनारे पर कारीगारी Two of them still alive. I mean, like these spaces. Okay, so it's kind of like rare animals or rare spaces like that. Okay, and they say that like now they are living in Shanghai, China. And some of the experts they try to bring them to the laboratory to make more and more pregnant for them like that. Okay, and we we when we threw them over here, it's just like a small one, really tiny, right? So to make it re really big like this, yeah, it takes a lot of time. So some experts they predicted this one he has more than two hundred years old when he died. And that one he has more than 140 years old when he died. Yeah, it was like you can take a look at the pictures over there. It was a time when he was still alive, and he just came above the water over there. Yeah, yeah. And the local people like us, we not gonna give them the chance to be bigger because we're gonna catch them and we're gonna eat them. So when you come to Nagaksan Temple, which is right in the middle of the lake, it's very picturesque. It's very beautiful, surrounded by flowers. But the point is, when you hear about the mythology of the place, they have a lot of statues which. Are idols of gods. There is gods, of, god of medicine, god of power, and different kinds of gods that people pray to. And there's even a particular god that people pray to to pass examinations. So I find quite a lot of similarities with like Indian mythology and like Chinese mythology and then Vietnamese mythology. Now we're at the Tran Quoc Pagoda, which is a famous Buddhist temple or pagoda, you could say. No matter where I go, whether it is in China or Vietnam or in any other country, when I see these tall Buddhist pagodas, it's always so mesmerizing to look at. And I felt the best part about living in Hanoi was that, even if you have just one or two days in the city, you can pretty much cover everything because it's so close by. Yeah, in Vietnam, the parliament, presidential palace, maidan, sab kuch. चलते चलते सब कुछ देख लिया हमने क्या हम वन पिलर पकौड़ा रहे थे लेकिन रास्ते में हमें ये भी दिख गया दिस इज द फेमस बानवी सैंडविच एंड दिस शॉप इज राइट अपोजिट द मोस्ट फेमस फो शॉप एंड ओल्ड क्वार्टर द फो इज गोइंग टू बी अन अवेलेबल डेट फाइव ओ क्लॉक एंड आई हैड रिटर्न लंच सो आई मीटिंग दिस राइट नाउ एंड इट्स रियली अमी 
and then I tried the pho. Now this is something you should not miss when you are in Vietnam and it is the water puppet show. During the water puppet show, you learn all about the culture, the history, the mythology and the different stories connected with Vietnam and that's all shown like through water puppets and it was so entertaining. Plus, if you don't understand the language like I didn't, there's a screen that shows the details of the story in English. Right now I'm at the place where even if it's not Christmas, the Christmas vibes are giving. St. Joseph's Cathedral in Hanoi. Uh, look behind me. The cathedral is closed right now, but this is the time when most people come to visit because it looks so magnificent during the night. And right here is the biggest Christmas tree I've ever seen in my life. Started with ornaments and snowflakes. This is a huge, huge Christmas tree right opposite the cathedral. Looks so pretty. Okay, so near the St. Joseph's Cathedral, we're just walking around and there are these pretty lights. I mean, this area is perfect for visiting during the night. Even though the cathedral, I think, closes at 5. I'm probably gonna come back here tomorrow to see the cathedral from the inside. But other than that, the night vibes are perfect. And then of course I had to go see the train street which is one of the insane experiences I've had in my life where the train comes so close and there's literally so many cafes there where you can sit and sip coffee and see a train this close. Like it just, it's a narrow street and the train passes through it. It's very scary. <laughs> Another day in Hanoi and today I'm at a rooftop restaurant enjoying typical Vietnamese food. So I'm going to have pho, I'm going to have the egg coffee that's really famous here and yeah, let's see how I like it. I'm about to try Vietnam's famous egg coffee and this is a signature dish. When I heard about it, like egg coffee sounds so weird but let's give it a try. It's not hot, it's cold, it's very rich in flavors and it's very very thick. But you would assume like the egg flavor would be more dominant than the coffee. That's not the case. You can definitely taste the coffee first and the egg just has like very weird undertones. But I like it. Um, this is the one to the pagoda. And then there's the temple of Confucius. People come here to pray when they graduate or to pray for getting good marks in examinations. I came to the temple of literature and Confucius temple. It's the same temple here in Hanoi. And I don't know what I was expecting, of course, ancient architecture and the, it's like, it represents the cultural ethos of Vietnam. But I was surprised to see like this part, which is adjacent to the temple. It's filled with people. These are elderly people who are just like spending their times doing yoga, playing with each other, exercising, playing badminton, and just like 
enjoying the healthy lifestyle even in old age and healthy aging just looks beautiful and i also saw the paintings and murals on the walls of hanoi it's no wonder that this is called the art capital of vietnam and these murals were so realistic and pretty you just can't stop but take a look at them